So this is just me getting rid of foliage, and just as a cool looking effect, I like sort of driving down these lines and just ripping it away. <laughs> anyway, you'll see what I use it for in just a second. I call this So It Begins. I've laid out the uh, edges of the maze, and actually started to lay out some of the maze itself. And uh, I decided, boy, am I going to need a lot of hedge, hedgerow stuff. So I built a tree farm inside. Here I am on top of Mount something or other, and I thought I'd show what's going on with my tree growing. It's actually kind of interesting. There seems to be a limit to, uh, even though I can see all the way to that back mountain, so keep that in mind, it turns out that the trees only grow so and so far. So let's, uh, let's get up close and you'll see what I'm talking about. So you can see the trees growing, all very nice. And right here you can see the tree growing just kind of ends. I mean these two tree gr trees grew, these two uh, made it, but basically all the rest of these things I don't think were in range of me. Basically I could see them, but it looks like tree growing has a definite limit. It looks like the radius is about 135 away. So if you're within 135, the seeds will take off, but beyond that the saplings don't appear to grow. So I've made this big forest and now it's uh, just chopping it down so I can get all the wonderful foliage. So the fun part here is actually that you just kind of blow through these things. Like so. So one interesting thing that's under this maze is a big empty space, because this is where there used to be a big desert that got cleared out and then covered over with dirt so that it didn't look so hideous. So there you have it. But the maze is getting near completion. And ta-da! Here's the final maze. It's nothing super special, it's just a maze, but uh, I enjoyed making it. It was a good little diversion. And there's little clues as to which way to go. And uh, I'll just show you one or two things when I get to them. I'll cut out this intermediate running through the maze part, because it's kind of long. Oh wait, here's what feature now. It's just the, uh, the little lava thing, where you can go and kill yourself with lava. Surprisingly, this lava thing doesn't burn any of the objects nearby. So anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. So here we're at the actual tower which is made entirely of leaves. It's interesting how if you place leaves they they don't rot. <laughs> it's only they uh they only rot if you're on trees. And so there's quite the view from up here. And in fact, you can climb on top of this little odd thing. And get the whole view. So there you have it. And on back down. So in each corner of the maze, there's a different element. Here's air. I couldn't really figure out a good way to do air, so there's sort of these wavy boards that are kind of air-like, and that the fact that you can walk through signs I thought was kind of cool. So that's air. And the other two are not that interesting. The uh, water and uh, earth are just a fountain and some uh, some blocks of sandstone. So anyway, that's about it. And so here we are at the final near the end of the maze and the end of the maze. Not that exciting. It gets you to this place. And working through the whole maze then gets you to the shortcut. This is the shortcut that leads through the mountain versus going around that mountain. So it was a big savings to go through that maze. Anyway, that's about it. Just thought I'd show that little uh, construction off. See ya.
Bye.